when you are vividly aware but in a state of don't know, this is called formless. This is called no mind. You are awake, but there is no discernment at all. If you only know that you don't know, you will immediately experience enlightenment, says the scripture, secrets on cultivating the mind. Immediate enlightenment it says, it's because you've seen your true nature. So now I will help you do this, don't know, right now. Only don't know, isn't anything special. All you're doing is ignoring any thoughts, sounds, or appearances of the five aggregates that appear within your mind by just saying, don't know. You are not fighting with your thoughts, but ignoring them instead. I've also written a book on the flow state called, Awakening My Inner Creativity with Flow. I gave lectures at various universities with this content, but instead of telling them this is Zen which could be faced with resistance, I told them this was flow. And the university students used this well. It's the technique to enter the flow state on demand. When I teach this as my know-how, the key point is, don't know. Alongside, don't know, I also pair it with, it's okay. You can use this when you meditate, or more broadly when you're trying to focus on something. However if instead, you direct that focus towards yourself, the subject, then you will experience enlightenment. The all-purpose method to direct your focus on yourself is, don't know. So this is why I am introducing you to, don't know. But when I told people to just, don't know, some people were confused as to, what should I not know? They were still thinking. But the gears have to stop turning. Your mind needs to become one-pointed. If only you could realize that there isn't a single thought that can withstand the power of, don't know. There is a saying in the Buddhist tradition, even the god of death can't do anything to the one who doesn't know. No harm can come to the one who doesn't know. Afflictions, defilements, nothing can intrude. Don't know, means you directly transcend duality. When you are wondering between A or B, I don't know. But if you, don't know, with hazy eyes, this isn't the way. Instead, if you, don't know, with clear sparkling eyes, then that spot can't be messed with. Your self-nature is already whole and complete in this spot. Since I don't want you to worry about, what should I not know? Try applying, don't know, to your name. Your name is the main representation of your five aggregates. Me, my individuality, everything is contained within this name. When was I born? What's my net worth? What are my qualifications? Am I living well? Or poorly? Do I have many kids? Or only a few? Do I have money? Or am I poor? When you, don't know, your name, you still exist. But instead of as an independent individual, I, you simply exist like nature, like a rock, or a mountain, or a river. Say, I don't know my name. I don't even know whether I am a human or whatever. I don't even know whether these are my limbs or whoever's. If you exist just like this, this is the true self-state, the state of enlightenment. Now, I'm going to try to assist you with this. I'm going to ask you for your name but don't actually respond with your name. You don't have to say or think anything. Just stare at me with a mind that doesn't know. The look in your eyes needs to be vivid. What's your name? You don't know your name, right? But you exist right now. But you don't know your name. You can close or open your eyes. Try closing your eyes if you want to experience it more vividly. Now, you exist, right? But you don't know. You don't know your name. Can you worry about your money when you don't even know your name? Can you worry about your family when you don't even know your name? You only exist, right? Right now, how old do you feel? How can you know your age when you don't even know your name? You are only just existing. Being content with just existing is genuine Zen and genuine enlightenment. Can you be content with just existing? Close your eyes and only just exist. There is nothing lacking. Say, don't know. I don't even know my name. I just exist. Try to only feel the feeling of existence. If a thought arises, don't fight with the thought and instead, just say to it, you do your thing. I don't know you. Indifference is the answer. Just maintain this state of indifference and focus on that feeling of existence. There are no afflictions or defilements in this spot because it doesn't lack anything. How can someone who doesn't even know their name, lack something? Don't know, but still exist. This is the genuine way to catch a break from your thoughts. Now, open your eyes. Can you understand? This spot is your true self spot. The spot that only just exists. The reason you can't find the true self is that you keep searching for something exotic. 
It's just me. The true self is also me. It's the mind that I'm always feeling. It's just my purest, unstained mind. Just now, when you felt that spot where you only just exist, you didn't know how old you are. You forgot that I, that's a certain years old. This spot has always existed. Between that me, from 10 years ago, and that me, right now, the only part of your mind that stayed the same is the spot you experienced just now. Your thoughts, feelings, and five senses all changed since then. Only the fact that I exist hasn't changed, and that's why I assume that me, from 10 years ago is still me. This clear, pure spot is your essence. This spot has no worries, so we call it, carefree. This spot doesn't age, so we call it, eternal. This spot is just my, self. There is no one else. Only I exist. You are not separate from the universe because only you exist in the universe. This spot can't be dirtied by thoughts, feelings, and the five senses, so we call it, pure. These are the four virtues of the Buddha. If it meets these four criteria of, eternal carefree self-pure, then that spot is the true self. When you are meditating, when do you feel most deeply moved? It's when this I, most strongly reveals itself. There is no fear whatsoever and all worries of life and death cease to exist. When the true self reveals itself, your mind changes into the qualities of, eternal carefree self-pure. The three marks of existence are impermanence, suffering, and no self. In other words, it's transient, futile, painful, always not enough, and nothing ever goes my way. But when this ego mind focuses into a single point, your true self reveals itself. Don't expect any miracles before this. When the ego becomes one-pointed, it no longer behaves like its normal convoluted self. Because the mind became one-pointed, the true self becomes awakened. When this pure existence is awakened, the defining characteristic is that you are satisfied with just existing. You no longer desire anything more. You feel contentment just as is. You truly feel alive. As the feeling of, eternal carefree self-pure, arises, you no longer worry about death. When you are meditating or praying, your words will have power only if you do it from this state. If not, you just end up alternating between, I wish this would happen, there's no way that'll happen. Falling for the ego's play like this means your mind is just operating within the world of duality.